Hi everyone, North Jersey Gardening here. Um, give you another look at the garden. Um, it's um, a nice sunny day today, June 7th. It's going to be uh, around 80 degrees. Uh, so I'm in the area here of the main garden where I have uh, quite a few zucchinis and eggplants uh, growing nicely. Um, I actually had lost a couple of zucchinis, but I had them replaced um, with uh, different ones. So right here I have um, the, uh, two uh, green zucchinis doing nicely here, growing, catching up. Uh, right here I have a yellow zucchini. Uh, right there I squeezed in, um, there was a yellow zucchini right here, but it died down, so I uh, replaced it in the same spot with, um, it's called the caserta squash, uh, and I have one, two, three, and two more, one here. And another one there, and they're actually surrounding the radishes that I'm going to have to pick very soon before somebody else starts eating them. <laughs> they're getting along nicely. Some radishes. Right here I have um, yellow straight neck zucchini growing. Uh, this one and the one right next to I'm going to show you, they were actually growing um, nicely as it, when I first put them in the ground. They had blossoms and everything, but then we got hit by heavy rains uh, in that one cold night and um, they almost died back all the way down um, and I thought I was going to lose them, uh, but they lost all the blossoms and all the growth that they had, but they're catching up now that uh, it's... Uh, uh, nice and warm weather we're getting uh, several days in a row. There's a little zucchini growing here. Let's hope it gets um, pollinated. So I'm happy they're all catching up and doing nicely. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they got affected uh, by that uh, uh, difficult week of rain. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to affect their production or not, but we'll see. Right here, I did a little expansion on the garden. <laughs> it ended right there by the uh, chocolate habaneros that are getting chewed up by something. Uh, they were very nice and bushy, and something's eating them. And again, that one week of heavy rain uh, stunted them a little bit. Uh, but um, right there, I added a couple of feet of a uh, garden so I can, I can squeeze in the rest of the peppers uh, I had growing in the containers I have a cayenne here uh, three pepper fish here and uh, three sweet peppers they're doing okay they're still small and I'm hoping nothing will eat them up because uh, I had one uh, planted in the, on the other side and completely down to the stem to the ground something chewed it down uh, but uh, these are getting uh, they're in the best spot uh, they, they're gonna be getting a lot of Sun throughout the day so I'm hoping they will do okay and grow nicely um, I squeezed in um, in between the rows uh, the burgundy amaranth I had them growing in a container all, all overcrowded but I finally got them out of the container and planted in the ground they're still small but they're um, they've, they've been in the ground like maybe four or five days now um, we had heavy rains uh, a couple of days ago but it was just that one day and we've had nice sunny days the last couple of days so they're doing nicely so and I like the um, the uh, color contrast of the green and the burgundy red. Um, I got it from this side where I had the red orac or auric growing, 
uh, it's a nice contrast between that and the peppers growing around it. I like it. So right here I have a different kind of pepper. Where's that dragon? Dragon cayenne pepper. Right here and behind the red orc. Right there another dragon cayenne pepper. So these, the dragon cayenne were actually purchased. They were not grown from seed. Uh, pretty much everything else I grew from seed. Um, but I lost so many peppers and a few tomatoes also that I decided to purchase from the store to make up for the losses. Uh, so these, I hope they will catch up um, and give me nice peppers. I see the other one has nice flowers growing, blossoms. So hopefully they will give me nice peppers. Um, I tried to grow dragon cayenne last year, but uh, um, th they never blossomed or anything for me. Uh, never gave me fruit, but I had success with other uh, peppers. Uh, and over here, some peppers that I had grown from seeds. I think it's the pepper fish also. I don't think they're gonna make it. There's one nice blossom here. Um, they're recovering. Uh, but again, the heavy rain and one cold night affected them a lot. Uh, Seth's trying. Here's another nice blossom. Here you go. So they, they may potentially uh, give me some peppers. Uh, but these, they have not grown um, hardly at all. They're so stunted still. Um, so I put them in the ground and there's the same height they were uh, over a month ago. I put them in the ground and they're not growing at all. Uh, they dropped all their uh, flowers that they had. They had a ton of them. Uh, and then they stopped growing. Uh, and this one has uh, different, you know, variegated colors on its leaves. And I don't think it's supposed to be like that. It was, uh, again, affected by the, by the weather. And I don't see any blossoms on that one, but uh, the leaves seem to be, uh, you know, trying to recover. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it's going to give me anything. And over here, also grown from seed, are chili peppers. Uh, and oh, there's one that's turning a little bit red, ripening, nice. Some kind of a chili or cayenne pepper, I don't see the tag anywhere. But again, um, they lost a lot of their flowers, um, and they're not growing. The, like the plant itself is not uh, getting taller or wider, um, but it looks like a lot of the peppers are still uh, forming and growing. Uh, it's another big pepper here, still green though. So it's trying, uh, they're trying to produce and recover, so I'll keep an eye on them. There's a lot of flowers on that one in the back, so hopefully it will give me some nice peppers. And over on this side... Uh, actually, here's something interesting. <laughs> I was um, uh, drinking Moringa uh, tea, um, and I had a little bit left over sitting in the bottle for a while, uh, and I... Uh, uh, emptied the leftover, whatever was left over in the bottle on this uh, Swiss chard and look at the difference in, in growth after I added the Moringa to this one I'm not sure of the health benefits in the Moringa tea M gave it a boost or because it's in a sunnier spot uh, than the other guys and that it's growing more but it's interesting, uh, maybe I'll start adding Moringa tea so these guys see uh, if it makes a difference. So over there I have a few kales, red Russian kales growing. And they're getting eaten by something. Uh, I, you know, I checked them this morning, I didn't see any uh, slugs or anything on them. And on the other side the slugs like to go up for the cabbages and the squashes and the zucchinis. Uh, but these were doing okay till this morning. I noticed. I didn't see any slugs, but yep, something's definitely eating them. So I have to keep a closer eye on them. They're still small, but they're trying. Right there. And on this side, 
my kales that overwintered doing nicely a lot of pods tons of pods on there I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of seeds from these guys and down here I have the scarlet kale doing nicely I've already harvested a few leaves um, from these two I have two of them right next to each other uh, harvested actually a couple of times and added their leaves to salad they they have a little sweet flavor which is really nice I like it and right next to them um, scarlet kales also but seeded um, a couple of months later uh, than uh, these two big ones uh, so we'll give them time to grow and right over there I have the big uh, pineapple tomato uh, he's bushing out nicely tons of flowers on him he's gonna give me a lot of uh, tomatoes hopefully if they keep going I got him staked up with bamboo and he was uh, leaning to the right over here and uh, falling on the ground so I moved him and had him lean on that uh, big steak and cucumber trellis yeah the cucumbers were growing back there I still have a couple but I lost all of them I'm not sure if I see any. One little one down there. A little cucumber. We'll see if it makes it. But uh, that one and another one are the only two left over of the cucumbers that I had uh, planted uh, last month. But they're struggling. But I have more cucumbers I put in the ground after, which are doing better. And this is my row. Three rows of tomatoes all along here doing nicely. They're a little cramped together because um, I thought I was going to lose a lot of them, a lot of the little ones. Uh, again, because of that um, heavy rains for one week. Um, but um, even the little ones that I thought I was going to lose are making a comeback. See the little ones. So I may still get um, production even out of the little ones that uh, were stunted by the elements. Um, here's some blossoms. There's a Cherokee purple right there. So they're growing nicely. The uh, we had um. One day, a um, couple of days ago, of heavy rains, and they like you could tell right away it's helping them, and they they love it. They grew uh, so well uh, with the bright sun the day after, and again nice sun today. Uh, so they love the rain, and the sun helps them grow quickly. And again, in between here, I have dispersed uh, some of the amaranth. Uh, plants hopefully they'll grow in between the tomato plants the tomatoes are growing so quickly uh, it's crazy it's like almost a full ground cover with these guys some more amaranth there and more tomatoes I have like maybe 13 varieties of tomatoes um, I have the labels um, on there and again, don't use the plastic uh, plastic covering uh, to label the tomatoes. It's difficult to read. So I have a lot of black from Tula, pineapple tomato, uh, Cherokee purple, big red, uh, Sakura cherry tomatoes. Um, a whole bunch of varieties growing here and I'm happy with how they're doing. So this is the tomato main garden update. They're growing so nicely and quickly. The rain and the sun, they love it. So I have to start to stake them up um, shortly. Very happy. I know I started gardening early. I couldn't wait. Let me show you one more tomato on the other side that I sowed um, at the same time as um, the uh, pineapple tomato over there, the big one. Those guys I sowed back in January 5th, along with, let me get to this other guy here, 
This guy, he is going crazy growing. This is the black from Tula. He's easily over four feet tall now. Uh, he was started from seed January 5th. And I have him growing right next to, to the side of the house. And he's going crazy. I guess he's again in the area where they get a lot of sun. And the rains have been helping them a lot. Uh, they're soaking up uh, the rain and the sunlight. And uh, he is loaded with blossoms. This is the black from Tula tomato. Easily like maybe maybe 80 tomatoes or so he has on him it's crazy and um, I, this guy I sowed so early usually I uh, prune the side shoots the suckers um, but because it's early in the season and he has a whole lot of time to develop uh, and grow whatever he wants to grow so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna uh, uh, trim the side shoots at all and see what happens he he's loving it uh, he's growing nicely so I'm going to let him go see if he has enough time to uh, produce later in the season some more tomatoes out of the side shoots. We'll see how that goes. So I'm happy with how these guys are doing. Um, thank God we're finally getting some warm sun and no damaging rains. Uh, these plants are loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying your garden. Uh, and you're uh, getting ahead with your... Uh, planting and plant growth. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. See you. Bye.